Round four, wireframe versus solids. In round four, we're going to address drawing. I had to give this a great deal of thought because there's many different ways and tricks for drawing wireframe and solids. Right now, in order to keep things on an even keel, we're going to use the, the single selection method. So I'm going to put things in isometric view at the moment. And we're going to go into wireframe first to keep consistent. And we're going to go into our tool paths and drill. Now my drilling manager comes up here. And I'm going to simply select the points at which I want to drill on our wireframe. Once I've got those confirmed, I'll go to the tool and we'll select a library tool in this case here quarter inch drill will work in this case we're in tool four and we want to go into our linking parameters to set our depth because we don't have any information on the model itself because it's a wireframe we go to our print and we find out our we want to go minus a half inch and I go my extra 30 thousandths for the breakthrough. I could also control this from tip compensation. I'd rather control it here. It's just a personal preference. And we'll turn on our coolant. And we have our drilling. Now to do our solids, we're going to do a similar path. We're going to go back into drill. We're going to say select the features. Notice right here I've got a little bit of an error here. I got this endpoint which is going to be bad. So we're going to delete that. And I'm going to use a feature of locking on center. And I'm going to lock my center. And I'm going to make sure that I grab the center, in this case, all the way around. Now, because I grabbed the top instead of the bottom, I'm going to have to set my depth under linking parameters. And we're going to use the same quarter inch drills, same tool number. But when I go in my linking parameters now, it's got the last 530 depth here. But instead of using that, we're going to go associative. And I'm going to pick, in this case here, the bottom of the hole. Now I have my drilling for my solid. Let's do a back plot. Let's span these operations here. And I'll do a back plot first of my wireframe. Now in this case here, I'm starting a little bit too high. So we're going to make an adjustment. In order to make the adjustment, we're simply going to go to parameters. In our linking parameters, bring our retract down to 100 thousandths. And we're going to make the same adjustment in our solids. And once we update that, you notice our drill paths now are not as high above the part. This will save us a bit of time in our drilling operations. We'll just simulate the solid as well, just to show you here. All right. In our solid, I just noticed we have a problem. Not drilling through the bottom of the part. So I'm going to unselect everything for this associative and reselect the bottom of the part, adding my 30 thousandths. Let's go back to our isometric view. 
Now I've noticed we have another issue. I've left out one hole. So we're going to simply go back to geometry and add in the, the hole that I forgot. And if we're lucky, everything will update and we'll be ready to rock and roll. We're good to go. In the latter part of the video, I made a couple errors selecting the solid. That's nothing to do with solids versus wireframe. It's just things that happen occasionally. I left them in the video to show you some examples of how to fix things when they go wrong. Thank you for watching.